I just came from picking up a few things from the store. Trader Joe's had this new popcorn. And it looks pretty interesting. So it's seasoned with nutritional yeast, onion, sea salt, and garlic. So I can't wait to try that out. Hopefully it's good. And then I picked up just a couple other random items. But I'm gonna go ahead and unpack my groceries, but I wanted to mention that for my next wine make, I wanna make Simplicity 9896, I believe it is. It's the jacket pattern, and I think it's so cute. So I was reading the envelope, it's rated as average. Some of the details I noticed is that it has zippered pockets, and it also has a bias binding trim and a pocket in the back of the jacket, which I think is cute. So yeah, that's gonna be the next thing that I make. I'm cooking up some Brussels sprouts. This is also something I purchased from Trader Joe's when I was out today. I just came back from the fabric store. I went to two fabric stores and I bought supplies to make Simplicity 9896. I really like this little jacket. I want to make view A. View A and view B are pretty much the same except they're color blocked differently and then view A does have an extra pocket on the front so that's the one I'm gonna make and I went to the store called fashion no fabric outlet and crafts and I picked up this white woven fabric I think it's a denim so I want the main body of the jacket to be in this color. This pattern has an upper sleeve and a lower sleeve. So for the upper sleeve, they give you the option of buying fabric that is quilted or they also give you a pattern piece that is a guide for pattern quilting. So you can quilt the fabric yourself using this pattern. I decided that I don't want a quilted upper sleeve so I'm just going to use some regular fabric and I'm going to use this denim fabric just for the upper sleeve portion I think. I was also trying to decide if I want to use some of this for the pockets I'm not sure. I was first thinking that I would make the pockets in this color white but I'm kind of torn so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do everything yet but I did buy a little extra of this just in case I want to play with the pockets. And it does call for bias tape to go around the jacket and also around the sleeves. And I picked up two different widths. So the pattern, that's a zipper. So the pattern calls for a quarter inch wide double fold bias tape. I did pick this up from Joann's. So I want like a gold or this is more of a yellow, really like a bright yellow to go with the white and the blue. I'm thinking that that would be cute. And then at the fabric outlet store, they had the same color pretty much, but it was in a wider width. So I picked this up just in case. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with this quarter inch that the fabric recommends, or if I'm just gonna use a wider width bias tape. But I got four yards of that, which I think is more than enough. For view A, you will need four zippers, and I'm just gonna be using white, and this one is off-white. I think I'm gonna put this one in the back. I bought this zipper from Joann, and then from Fabric Outlet, their zippers were only 50 cents, so I got a couple of zippers, and oh, I bought a blue zipper too. I ended up getting some snaps, like a snap kit, because you do need eight snaps to go down the front, heavy-duty snaps. And I'm just going to use this kit to put the snaps on. And then other than that, I just bought some thread. And I'm going to wash all this fabric, take a break. After I go shopping and then when I get home, I'm tired. Like, I don't really <laughs> feel like doing anything else, at least not right now. I just need to kind of unwind. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also got some interfacing which i bought more than enough but i figured i could always use interfacing so i did get some of that too the finished garment measurements are on the actual pattern and it does look like view b is longer than view a so there is another difference between the two views 
but you can't really tell I don't think that much from the pictures but yeah view B is a little longer these pieces are where the zipper will go here here and here and then on the upper sleeve you will have a dart and I did cut out a size small. I decided to use this striped denim fabric that I purchased recently to cut out all of the pockets. You'll need to cut out 14 pieces for view A. Piece 10 is a guide for quilting and piece 14 is a guide for the snaps. I cut out all my pieces and then realized I missed piece number seven. So I'm about to go ahead and cut this out. Here are all the pieces that have to be interfaced. I turned the pieces upside down and pressed the interfacing on top and now I'm going to cut all the pieces out. Now that I'm sewing, I noticed another difference between the two views. So you have an upper front and a lower front and the pockets are different on the two views. For view A, the pockets go right along the line that separates the top from the bottom. And then on view B, you just have the pockets a little bit lower. Here's a quick update of the progress so far. I'm about to start working on the sleeves next. This is the right side of the lower sleeve and this is the right side of the upper sleeve. I did go ahead and make a mark 5 8 of an inch away from the raw edge all around the top of the upper sleeve, no the lower sleeve. And next I'm going to take the bias tape and I think I'm going to go ahead and use the quarter inch bias tape even though it's super tiny. And then I'm just going to wrap this bias tape around the raw edge of this upper sleeve all around. So I'm going to actually like sandwich the raw edge in between the bias tape and then stitch it down. And then after that stitch, then you take the finished edge and you line it up with the 5 8 of an inch mark on the lower sleeve or the 5 8 of an inch seam line, however you decide to mark that and then stitch all around. I'm stitching around almost done and I had to remember to make sure that I changed my thread to this gold color. But yeah, I'm just making sure this is butted up against this middle area right in here and I'm sewing all around. Here is the look of one sleeve and now I'm going to do the other one. I took some wash away tape and placed it along this curved edge. Once I peel the backing off, I'm going to take this sleeve and I'm going to match it up to the seam line. I'm going to make sure that the stitches are on the seam line as much as I can. And then the tape should hold everything down for me as I stitch around. I'm sewing two different colors of fabric together. This is the sleeve, this blue denim, and then this is the actual body of the jacket. So my top stitching thread is white, and then for the thread in the bobbin, I put navy. I have the sleeves on and they're all finished. There is bias tape around the wrist also. And I'm moving on to the facings and more trim around the jacket and snaps. I have the jacket on and the sleeves are a little too long so I do need to go back and fix that. I cut off about seven inches from the sleeve hem and I still have enough bias tape to go ahead and add trim back to the sleeve. The pattern calls for eight snaps and the kit only has seven snaps so that's just something I wanted to mention, but I happen to have an extra snap, so I'll be okay. The other difference between the views is that view A has this front band here that you see in navy, and view B does not have this band. I decided not to put the neck collar on the jacket. I eliminated the front facings, and to finish all the raw edges, I used the wider bias tape. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. 
You a mood, body giving sin of views I'm just saying I'm a mute But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tat it up, cover wounds Different vibe, you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try too hard Number one fan, your side your plot Got me think about inside the walls Words cut deep, it's like a swat Making me better, you hotter than pepper, mm hmm mm mm You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm hmm mm mm All of these women, they not on your level, mm hmm mm mm You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm hmm mm mm You a move, body giving scenery views I'm just saying I'm a mule